Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Philips Multi Chopper. It's a really cute design and it comes in black, green, purple, and white. It comes with the bowl, basket, lid, chop drop blade, this is to use with this basket, and a regular chopper blade. This you can put directly into the bowl to use as you would a regular food processor. The chop drop blade is for chopping onions, garlic, cheese, vegetables, and fruits into small, even pieces. We'll test that out in a minute. And the regular chopper blade is for chopping nuts, raw meat, onions, hard cheese, dry bread, and herbs. You cannot use this unit to chop ice or anything frozen. This is the motor unit that sits on top. The unit comes with an instruction manual, which lists the ingredients, chopping quantity, and time for processing. A recipe book is included. It has recipes for salsa, guacamole, roasted chicken, pesto, chutney, and hummus. When you first get the unit, wash all parts in warm soapy water or your dishwasher. To use the chop drop blade to cut vegetables or fruits into small pieces, put the basket into the bowl. There's a metal pin in the middle of the bowl. Place the chop drop blade right onto the metal pin. You'd put your ingredients into the bowl. They have to be cut up to three quarters of an inch or two centimeters. Put the lid on. Put the motor on top, plug it in, and just press down with your hands to start. To use this as a regular food processor, just put the chopper blade straight onto the metal pin, put your ingredients in, put the lid on, attach the motor, plug it in, and press on top. So it's very simple to use. First, I'll try onions. I've cut them up into about three quarters of an inch. This is one medium onion. Plug it in and just press the top down. You can see the onions on top. They have to be small enough to fit through these slots in the basket. They look really pretty, nice and even. You won't be able to process more than one medium onion in the basket. There are one or two pieces that are a little bit bigger, but just about all of them are pretty perfect. What I like about this blade is that there's no liquid. The onions are not sitting in liquid. You know, when you process onions in a regular food processor or a mini chopper, what happens is the onions are sitting in a pool of liquid at the bottom of the bowl. With this unit, there's no liquid. Easier to work with when you saute these onions. They'll brown faster because they're not sitting in a pool of onion juice. If you saute a lot of onions, especially for curries, this works amazingly well. Now I'll try some carrots cut up. This is one large carrot. Oops. The carrot is hard, so it's better to hold on to the bottom. That is really nice. Beautifully diced carrots, and this is perfect for mirepoix, onion, celery, and carrots in your recipes. All of the carrots drop through the holes in the basket. Let's hope this orange color comes out. I just washed it and there's still a light orange color stain, and this is what you would expect with really any plastic part in a food processor that comes in contact with vegetables like beets and carrots. I'll try getting this out later with some lemon juice or rubbing it with some oil. Now we'll try tomatoes. These are two medium tomatoes. You 
here are the tomatoes. They're also chopped pretty evenly. The thing with tomatoes is they contain a lot of liquid, so there's going to be a lot of liquid pushed down into the bowl. So you can use this for salsa, and if you don't want the juice, you can just use the tomatoes in the basket and process it for a few seconds less than what I just did. In this unit, you can process a maximum of two medium tomatoes. Now we'll use the regular chopper blade to process some nuts. These are roasted salted cashews. This bowl has a max of two cups or 500 milliliters. Before you process any dry ingredients, make sure the bowl and the blade lid, everything is dry. This is the result you would get with pretty much any small food processor. You have some nuts that are ground very fine and some nuts that are chopped into bigger pieces. With nuts, you just need a few pulses. Now we'll try the same blade with something very hard like Parmesan cheese. beautifully processed Parmesan. It's even, it's lovely, it's pretty perfect. Cleanup is easy because all the parts are dishwasher safe, except for the motorhead, of course. You can just wipe that down with a damn cloth. You saw this Phillips chopper is very powerful. It's 300 watts. It processes everything quickly. I was most impressed with the onions because it's the closest thing to using a knife. There's no liquid the onions are sitting in. They're perfect for sauteing. The carrots were diced perfectly, did a good job on the nuts, the tomatoes, and the Parmesan was perfect. Everything was also processed very quickly. If you want to try out this Philips Multi Chopper, I'll put a link in the description below. As always, I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.